Right now at 4.30, our first look at the demolition of Northwestern's Ryan Field. There you go. You can see it in motion. Yeah, a lot already being done. Sky 5 over the scene today as crews tore down more of the bleachers, including a large section that you see right there. They're making a lot of progress. They are making progress. It goes fast once yeah. they get started. Christian Farr has more on the project ahead. Demolition of Ryan Field has ramped up in Evanston, and people just passing by have taken notice. I've always had a good time watching Northwestern football games here, so it's it's kind of sad, but I can understand why the university would want to do what they want to do. Earlier this month, Northwestern officials posted on their Ryan Field construction update website that demolition would ramp up along Central Street starting last Friday. From Chopper 5, you can see that about 25% of the stadium has been demolished and the demolition has people thinking about the concerts that may be held here in the future. Those stopping by have no problem with them happening. It's easy for me to say because I'm not in the neighborhood. I'm just a couple stops up on the train, so I understand where people in the neighborhood would get a little bit irate. But while many who just passed by were feeling nostalgic and positive about this demolition, there are many who still have issues with it. It saddens me because all of that is at risk. Uh, when it becomes a full time, uh, really a full time performance venue. Attorney and Wilmette resident Steve Harper says what is at risk is the quiet residential area that surrounds the stadium. Please do not sign this agreement. Many Wilmette residents whose neighborhoods border the stadium tried to hold an agreement between the village and Evanston that will supposedly address the impact of those concerts. But Harper says there is documented evidence that those concerts will have a negative impact, which is why he says the fight to stop them is not over. I think people are committed to do what they can to try to protect their homes, uh, their families, um, and their neighborhoods. In Evanston, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.